that net 30 net 60 was you know created to help businesses out and i'm not saying abolish it or anything because hell i might need to use it one day but it's like i didn't take 30 days to do my job so why is it taking you 30 days to give me my money i don't understand someone answer that for me in the comments please thanks <laughs> Y'all, I'm really about to post this and throw my phone in the Pacific Ocean. I'm not even lying. I'm gonna do it. I'm literally about to throw up. I have a meeting. This is a potential client, so this is just a discovery call. They fill out a form on my website and how my process is. I get that email, I check to see the questionnaire and see if I can actually help them. Then I approve an email that automatically gets sent so that they can book time to schedule a meeting to speak with me. I think they wanted a website redesign at first, but then I think they sent like an email that, you know, the budget wasn't there, so they're looking, I think, for social media um, design or strategy or something. Because of her budget difference, she might need to have to do my burn espresso package where, you know, I do like a quick mini version of a brand strategy and visual identity to help businesses just get started. It's not like the full on package, the full on package is really in depth, but the brand espresso is like, you know, you don't have the money right now, but you will, but you need something to get you started right now. So that's what that's for us. But I also like, because I know me and you spoke before, mm -hmm. and I also like how you incorporate, you know, a personality into what you build. And it, it doesn't have to be boring just because you're, you know, now we want to talk to corporate or, mm -hmm. you know, government or things like that. So I'm just like, girl, that's not who I am. Like, it's mm -hmm. almost like it's embarrassing because my brand just doesn't feel like me, especially if not where I'm going. So I would if you do accept it, Everything is pretty much automated on that end. So when you accept it, you will receive an email for the contract. Please go over it. Make sure you're okay with it. Um, after you signed it, then you will be prompted to just make the deposit payment. Then after that, I will um, get you onboarded. It's all automated. So um, there might be a part where you have to just like fill out a form and it's not um, not the same one on the website it's kind of more in-depth so I can understand more about your brand and put together a strategy that makes sense so it'll help me develop your visual identity so now I'm gonna create a proposal for this company obviously it's going to be customized
the ghetto. The ghetto. I think that the silent killer of our generation is definitely going to be these Lysol wipes because are we even supposed to be touching this with our bare hands? Like I don't, I don't think so, but it works so well, like, you know? I actually went to go wash my hands because I thought about it too hard, <laughs> just in case. I got these jars on Amazon. I haven't put anything in there yet because I have been just doing stuff so I'm gonna actually do that now and see if I can remember all I've accomplished. Um, some of these might be backlogs since last year, uh, December, but oh well. can remember for right now I think these are like the major things that I accomplished and even writing them I was like wow you did that it's a good reminder to always take a moment to celebrate your wins I branded my first festival I forgot to put that but that's the project I'm working on I also built out their website so I'm trying to um, make the last minute changes before they go live with the tickets so I'm going to kind of just uh, see if I can get all those edits in. Sidebar, the brand identity website is a website where I get some of my mock-ups from time to time. And I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally clicked their books tab and I found this book called The Process 4 and The Process 5. And basically it's a showcase of unused and unseen branding work from design studios that highlights like their concepts, um, their initial ideas and the mock-ups and sketches that led to like their final product. And I'm like very much obsessed with how people went from the idea and strategy to like the final, you know, the final product. So, um, I think I'm about to buy this book. What's the reason? What's the reason? What was the I reason? Was the making salmon and broccoli for dinner. I've been seasoning it for an hour now. I'm just going to make broccoli and I'm gonna squeeze some lemon on the salmon and on the broccoli.
I think the last question that I got asked was, did I study design? And the short answer is no, I did not study design. I studied mass communications. Um, so I'm really good at communicating and communicating ideas and thoughts to people. So I just happen to be good at design as well. That's why I'm really good at communicating designs to people. I'm really grateful that I chose design. I couldn't see myself doing anything else. There's definitely a couple black designers I've seen on YouTube that I really appreciate. I'm glad that you guys exist. I would love to see a lot more. It's super nice outside. The sun is literally directly in front of me and I'm just like basking in it. I feel like it's amazing that there's so many designers on YouTube and we don't really know each other, but like we can meet each other in the common space, which I think is kind of cool. If you've watched to the end, I want to thank you. This is the longest vlog I've ever done. I'm dreading editing this, to be honest, um, but I hope you enjoy. <laughs>